Doc Rich back at it again, baby. And we got Tupac. Rest in peace to the great Tupac. Um, freestyling in the streets of New York. That's what we're going to be checking out today. Like, share, comment, of course. Subscribe if you're new. If you want to support your boy, go and cop some merch too. All right? Link is down below. As well as my Instagram and Twitter account. At the real Doc Rich. Go and follow your boy on Instagram and Twitter. But, yeah. Tupac freestyling. Let's get into it. Let's check it out. She said it's cool to talk to. Damn, yeah. This is stupid, though. I mean, he did pass away a long time ago, but... Me. Don't you know you got a great pair of legs? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know you got a great pair of legs? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. For, for her. For her. They talk like that here. For her. For her. When we talk like this, her. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. For her. <laughs> for her. He he got that from the, the chick that just walked by. She said something for her. For her. They talk like that here. For her. For her. When we talk like this. For her. Down the streets in New York. I got a 40, not a court. So listen to the thought. Back in the J town. I bet they didn't know that Tupac would come up and I'm never going down. Uh -huh. And I won't sell my soul. I left wearing silver, came back for it gold. Oh. <laughs> no, I ain't fake and I rape many trunk. They try to play me out because I know how to pump. Bro, is he carrying a 40? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, listen. Listen. If y'all ever figure out how to bring people back from the dead. If y'all ever figure that shit out, let me tell y'all something. First off, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. Come to me first. First off, I'm going to invest. Second, we going, we going to, we, we, we bringing back Pac, all right? But before we tell anybody, we going to go bring back Pac. We going to bring back Big, and we bringing back Nip Hustle. Rest in peace to the great Nipsey Hustle. We, we going to bring back a few people first before we tell everybody. Then we going to come out. You know what I'm saying? Let everybody, hey, we, hey, hey, we figured out how to bring people back, baby. But, hey, it's going to cost you some Jeff Bezos money. We're going to need Jeff Bezos' net worth if you want to know how to do this shit, okay? <laughs> Matter of fact, we're going to need Jeff Bezos, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and Mark Zuckerberg uh, net worth if y'all want to know. Because, <laughs> listen, that's... Bro, you can bring back anybody. That's that's very very valuable. You can't you can't really put a price on that. So we go we gonna need hella bread. We gonna need so much money we ain't gonna even know what the fuck to do with it. Yeah, Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett, uh uh, uh Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, all of y'all. We we gonna need all that net worth. Hand it on over. Hand it on over. We we we'll, we'll let y'all keep a. We'll let y'all keep a hundred mil. A hundred mil. <laughs> but we gonna need all that. <laughs> we gonna let y'all keep a hundred mil each. That's, that should be plenty. That should be plenty. Alright? Shit. Man, rest in peace to Pop, man. Damn. The fuck? So either back up or get dunked. Cause you know Tupac ain't no chunk. Uh -huh. My homies from the old block. They all down with Tupac. Old block. Cause they know my rhymes rock. And they never really changed. Cause I came back the same. Still with the same name. Tupac, uh -huh. I drop any pump I pop. If you think you can rock, then get dropped. Here we go. I can flow. And I ain't through yet. I ain't fronting, but the blunt is going out. Don't sweat. A biker. A we don't have the right, but I got the fucking bread. Stop, stop, stop. Let me walk by. <laughs> I'm in New York, watch me walk high. Anybody wants to front, they can get hit like a motherfucking <coughs> blunt. And you don't Ooh. stop. Right. Yep. Check this out, G. I'm Tupac, I'm with Digital. I have no money, I want my tape, and I want it now. I want my tape, off this thing. You can't sell my shit. I want that, that's me. Now I want my shit. I want my tape now. I'm gonna That's fuck your whole stand up. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh, caught a bootlegger on the street selling his tape. 
Damn. And those legit cassette tapes too. Sheesh. Sheesh. How many how many of y'all got a cassette tape player? Let me know. I'm interested. Like how how popular are cassette tape players still today? Let me know. <clears throat> you don't understand? That's my tape. That's me. That's my group. Now, you're taking money from me. You're selling my tape, but you got to pay me for my record. You understand that? Now, you got to take my tapes down. Now, if you don't take my tapes down immediately, I'm going to take your tapes down. You take your whole set down? I'm going to do like that. Rah! On the floor. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not taking anything? You're still drunk? You're taking my tape down? Hey, take the tape Come off. Come on, man. I'm serious. Hey, hey, take the tape off. You have police to take, take, take this out, but not, not the I have the right to do it. But you take, take it to the police. No, I don't have to take it to the police. You, know, I have you can take, take, take it to the police. I'll drop the shit there. I'll drop this shit there. I'll drop this shit Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, you the fuck with the wrong one. He about to destroy that whole setup. That whole, you could have, you could have just gave him the tapes. Gave him, you know what I'm saying, 20 bucks. Like, hey, yo, only sold two, but I I, I, I throw you at, I throw you, you know, an extra 10. I don't know how much cassette tape sold for it back in the day, especially from a bootlegger. Maybe, you know, $2 a pop, $3 a pop. Y'all let me know in the comment section. But, I, you know, I would have throw, threw him 20 bucks just to keep, just to keep it peaceful. Hey, here, here's your tapes. My bad brother, I'm just out here trying to hustle and eat. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to put some food on my table. But here you go, brother. Bam, move on. It could be simple. <clears throat> but I think this dude doesn't com he he didn't completely understand what he was saying and that's part of the problem as well. You mind your business. You know, I'm not you ain't got shit to do with it. Pay attention, fix your watch stand, you understand? Now, partner, you, if I see my tape over here again, by the word of God, I swear, I'm dropping your shit to the concrete. That's mine. You're robbing. I'm not playing. I'm going to watch a movie. When I finish, I'm coming back. If my shit is out here, I'm dropping. It. And if he says something, I'm dropping his watch. I'm sitting there. <laughs> Fuck around. Fuck around, you fuck around, you gonna fuck around, get smoked. Hey, Pac, Pac, Pac wouldn't know how, bro. Pac was not a bitch. He was not a bitch. He wasn't the one. Aight. Play with your pussy, don't play with Pac. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. He said, if I come back and I see my tape, I'm dropping your ass. Oh, fuck. Just drop my phone. He said, I'm dropping your ass. <laughs> and if he say something, I'm taking his watches. Bitch ass. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come <laughs> hey man, rest in peace. Once again, rest in peace to Pac, man. You know, um, you know, I, I know I joked about you know <clears throat> bringing people back earlier, but um, Pac is definitely one of those individuals that. Um, if if I had the opportunity, if the opportunity presented itself, um, he's definitely one of the individuals that I that I would bring back him, and and, and, and like I said, Nip, Nip Hustle, you know, in the words of Nip Hustle, he was the Tupac of my generation, of our generation, you know what I'm saying? Um, those are a couple of people, obviously big, you know, because um, big and Pac kind of kind of happened before my time, you know what I'm saying? Like I was. I was I was damn near crawling around too too young to understand what the fuck was going on, type shit to you know what I mean to 
really appreciate, uh, you know, them while they were here. So I would have loved to have experienced it live and in the flesh, you know, um, Pac and Big, you know, around. Could you imagine Pac and Big on Instagram? <laughs> Hey man, Pop Pop could probably be posting some goofy ass shit though. <laughs> he he he'll be posting some goofy ass shit. I can see Pop posting some bullshit on Instagram. <laughs> some shit that I, that I had you fucking dying laughing, brother. Hey, oh man, I, I I could most definitely see that. I could most definitely see that. But hey, Tupac freestyling, you know, just just a quick little freestyling. Obviously, you know, we saw a little confrontation with a, with a bootlegger that was selling his tapes that he ain't really, he ain't really appreciate. Um, but yeah, rest in peace to a legend. Y'all let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, of course, subscribe before you go. Go follow your boy on Instagram. The link is down below. I'm out.